If you are at all familiar with the style trends of the seasons and of this year, you will have probably heard the term quiet luxury being thrown around a lot. Now, there are a few different things in pop and entertainment culture that have kind of made this style trend become an actual trend. First of all, the TV show Succession. I have never really personally watched that, but the fashion on Succession has been a huge talking point in the style world and has really kind of helped further this trend and this idea of quiet luxury, as well as some of the it girls of the time, namely Sophia Ritchie and her beautiful Italian wedding. She embodied this whole idea of quiet luxury. Now, if you maybe have never heard of that term or if you have and you're just not sure what that means, I wanted to take some time in this video to kind of walk through what quiet luxury means, but then also on a bit more, on a bit less pretentious side, I wanted to kind of talk about how you can embody that trend and that look and that mindset really without necessarily needing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on your clothing. So from a style perspective, quiet luxury is really just about wearing high quality, well-fitted, beautiful pieces of clothing that complement your body and complement your style and your skin tone. It's typically characterized by things like clean lines, classic fabrics and fibers like linen and silks. In the summertime, it is definitely about for women wearing dresses. It's typically trending on a bit more of the modest side of things, so less about showing lots and lots of skin, but just about maybe your shoulders or ankles or things like that, or your knees. It's about a effortless elegance that you can put across in the outfits that you're wearing and then also the mindset that you have. It is basically a step above designer in the sense that there are a lot of designer pieces these days. Think about maybe some of your favorite designers, Louis Vuitton and Chanel, that in certain pieces you buy, you become a walking billboard for that brand. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag is basically just a giant billboard in a bag. And quiet luxury really is the antithesis of that. It says this t-shirt might be $20 or it might be $2,000 and you may never know, but that's okay. And that's why I am so intrigued by this idea of quiet luxury because it is not showy, it is not flashy, but it's still very quality and very simple and elegant. This idea, I think Elle Magazine, when I was researching this whole trend, called it an effortless elegance. And who doesn't want to embody that in their style for, especially the summertime? So as we're thinking about this idea of quiet luxury, I wanted to show you some pieces from my own wardrobe that I personally think embody this idea of quiet luxury some staple pieces, a bit of a capsule wardrobe collection that you too could have if you wanted to put some quiet luxury inspired outfits together for the summertime. And then also I'm gonna share a few of my favorite brands to shop if you are looking for a bit more inspiration in pieces for your wardrobe. So if you're looking to scale up your summer aesthetic this year, kind of go for that quiet luxury, effortless elegance, I think there are a few key points that we can all kind of take in mind when we are looking to potentially elevate our summer outfits. Number one, as you're shopping for pieces, look for items in that very classic fiber, classic fabric materials. So that is traditionally for summertime going to be linens, silk, and organic cotton. These are just going to elevate your outfits. They are going to be a beautifully wearing, long lasting fiber. You might end up spending a little bit more on the front end, but they're going to last with you for years to come. There are beautiful pieces often that are 100% linens and silks, or even some of the 50% linens and mixed with some organic cottons and things like that. Absolutely beautiful. Number two is going to be, think about your accessories, how you can make them kind of a statement of your outfit. So whether that be a silk scarf in your hair, a beautiful classic leather belt, a statement bag, or a pair of sunglasses, accessories are absolutely kind of a staple of this whole aesthetic of quiet luxury. 
Number three is think about your favorite neutrals. A hallmark of this quiet luxury or effortless elegant brand in aesthetic is definitely neutrals, so more neutral color palette. And inside of neutrals, there are so many different shades and varieties. Think about what works best for your skin tone. Play around with some of these neutral colors to really kind of see what makes your skin pop, your eyes glow, your tan shine. So think about things like white versus ivory, what looks better on you, tans versus browns, blacks versus grays. People are going to look different in different colors. So think about neutrals in that sense, what works best for you. Number four is just going to be put in a little bit of effort. If you're staring at your closet in the morning time and you're looking at a pair of Nike running shorts versus a black ribbed maxi dress, I promise you both are equally comfortable. You can even, in some scenarios, wear your running shorts under a dress if you're more comfortable that way. Both are going to be equally comfortable and cool and breathable, I promise you, but putting in that little bit more effort, choosing the dress every time, is just going to elevate your summer wardrobe. Next, just to think about keeping your garments, your shoes, your bags, your accessories in good condition. And I feel like this could kind of go without saying, but it is so obvious when clothes are not ironed or well taken care of, when shoes are not properly cleaned or bags are not properly stored. You can tell a big difference and you can elevate even just a simple white t-shirt by giving it a quick iron before you wear it. You're going to feel better, you're going to look a little bit more elevated, and it definitely falls within this whole aesthetic. Next is absolutely going to be, I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, just dressing a little bit more modestly. So obviously it's the summertime, we want to show off our tans and be as cool as possible, but this whole idea of quiet luxury definitely trends on the more modest end of the scale. So if you're already comfortable with more modest clothing, then this trend and aesthetic is absolutely for you. And then lastly, if you're looking at maybe adding a piece or two into your wardrobe for the spring and summer season to embody this idea of quiet luxury, think about maybe going for a little bit of a splurge. So again, buying a beautiful linen dress, maybe adding a statement bag in the more quiet luxury brand like Pauline Paris. Something like that is going to elevate your look, elevate your style so much more. Look for vintage Hermes silk scarves. I promise you they're not as expensive as you might think that they would be. And adding just a piece like that into your wardrobe for summer is just going to elevate your style so much. So with this whole idea of quiet luxury also comes the idea of having a bit of a capsule wardrobe, pieces that you can mix and match, create lots of different outfits that go well together and embody this entire aesthetic. So a few pieces that I wanted to showcase that were already in my own closet, but I feel like embody quiet luxury. Number one is going to be a black midi dress. And I have a couple different kinds. I have a ribbed one, which is absolutely beautiful. It's a longer length, it's comfortable. I can wear it with so many different things. I can dress it down, I can use it as a cover up over a swimming suit, I can dress it up and go on a date night with it. Um, uh, another one that I have is just a lovely one from Free People. It's a bit more on the casual side, but no less beautiful organic cotton and feels so wonderful when I put it on. And again, it's just such an easy thing to slip on in the morning times when I just don't know what to wear, but I still want to put in an effort. Next up is going to be a pair of tan or white linen pants or linen trousers. I think that these are just such a staple for any summer aesthetic, no matter what you're going for, whether it's coastal grandmother or quiet luxury or Italian summer or whatever it is. Do yourself a favor, get yourself a pair of beautiful white or tan linen trousers. I have showcased some pairs before from Sam Peel, which I will link below, as well as J. Crew. Again, I will link below. These are such a gorgeous piece to have wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Get yourself a pair of well fitting linen trousers. And on that same vein, item number three is definitely going to be a pair of silk or silk inspired trousers as well. The pair that I'm wearing from Abercrombie are just such a staple for me. I 
I don't know what I would do without them now in my wardrobe. You can absolutely dress them up. And again, they look like a little bit more effortless and elegant, but the price tag is nowhere near quite a true quiet luxury piece. So I think it's just a wonderful way to kind of get that style and get that look without the price tag attached. Number four is going to be invest or kind of lean into shift dresses or sheath dresses for the summertime, short sleeved or sleeveless. I have a couple in my wardrobe, a navy blue one and then a kind of olive green color that I absolutely love wearing. It is a little bit more on the business side of quiet luxury, but can still just be so elegant and so beautiful for the summertime. You can wear them so many different places, so many different scenarios, and it's definitely worth having something like that in your wardrobe. As far as tops go, I would say a few non-negotiables. Number one are going to be a couple different types of silk blouses, whether that's a silk cami or a silk actual button down blouse that you can roll the sleeves up or keep them down depending on the weather. They are such staples to have in your wardrobe. You should have them in your wardrobe just because they are so easy to pair with everything. They're so comfortable that for the summertime, you are never going to regret picking up a silk blouse or a silk um, inspired blouse and wearing it throughout all of the summer months, taking care of it and having it for years to come. The next item that I think is just absolutely wonderful to have is a linen dress, whether that's a more colorful, multi-toned linen dress like the Zimmer one that I Zimmerman one that I just picked up and absolutely love, or more of a classic one, a black sheath linen dress. Reformation does linen dresses so well at a very affordable investment price tag that I just think is absolutely wonderful to have. And then leaning more into kind of capsule wardrobe accessories. Silk scarves are going to be your best friend. They are just such a wonderful way to kind of elevate and add elegance to a summer wardrobe. Like I mentioned before, you can tie it in your hair around a bun, around your wrist, around a bag, on your waist. There are so many uses for silk scarves and they just absolutely elevate your summer wardrobe so wonderfully. For shoes, a few different pairs that I absolutely love to have at my disposal are going to be a pair of white leather sneakers. Wear them with everything. I promise you they are worth the investment. A pair of very classic slides for the summertime. I do not own these, but I absolutely love the Hermes Oran sandals, but Everlane does a very similar kind of slide style in a leather that is absolutely beautiful. And then just a pair of low, very comfortable heels, whether they're two-tone and Chanel inspired like this pair, or just a pair of black or tan, keep them neutral, keep them classic, but have them at your disposal and wear them frequently. And then last but not least, like I said, whether it's an investment bag or one that you have picked up off of Amazon, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that it is a very classic, beautiful style. I picked this one up from Pauline Paris when we were last in New York City, and I have been wearing it nonstop. It is in that quiet luxury brand vein because it is a more investment piece with the price tag, but they are made in Portugal. It's beautiful leather and it's not a walking billboard. So it is just a gorgeous piece to kind of elevate any summer outfit. And just on a side note, if you are looking for some brands that kind of embody this idea of quiet luxury aesthetic without the price tag, I wanted to share a few of my favorites. So Dish is a beautiful brand. They do gorgeous, very classic neutral silhouettes and dresses and tops and bottoms and are absolutely wonderful in their price point, beautiful quality. Reformation is another one that again, kind of trends a little bit more expensive, but has beautiful linen items, perfect occasion dresses, gorgeous tops for the summertime. Of course, kind of a classic American staple of Ralph Lauren. You can obviously have their, their purple label and their black label and some of their much more expensive labels are gorgeous, but then some of their more classic items definitely fit into this idea of quiet luxury. Of course, obviously Cezanne is another one that is absolutely beautiful. You can even find pieces from Everlane. And then I think a wonderful place to kind of embody this idea of quiet luxury adjacent 
is honestly Banana Republic. They have been doing a phenomenal job with coming out with pieces that are neutral and classic and very quiet luxury inspired. So definitely go take a look at some of the items that I've linked down below because they will potentially inspire you or help you if you're looking to add any piece to your wardrobe for the summertime. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment. Tell me if you have any tips and tricks for mimicking this quiet luxury aesthetic for the summertime and then also give this video a like if you did like it because that goes such a long way to help me create more content that is on with what you guys want to actually see. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week and we'll see you in the next video.